three, two, one. Hello in YouTube land. Hello to my fellow subscribers. Hello to the new subscribers. Welcome everyone new to the channel, young and old alike. If you stumbled upon the video, you saw the thumbnail, you're wondering, hey, that's that new rescue hero, Rocky Canyon. And yet, you guessed it, Rocky Canyon. This time he has cornrows. Well, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> I don't think the original figure had cornrows. I do have like most versions of Rocky, the one where you couldn't tell, like all the detail. It looked more like a like a generic figure, like some of the original sculpting. And then as the line progressed with different releases, different series, uh, he looked more like the one from the movie, the Rescue Heroes movie. Anyway, this is the brand new 2019 Rescue Heroes toy line, Rocky Canyon. This is your mountain rescue expert. He's got all this cool gear. And I think he has a helmet here down here. If I'm not mistaken. All right, let's rotate this package. Uh, it says push button to for swinging action. Oh, yes, you can find these right now currently at your local Walmart Supercenter and on Walmart.com. These are an exclusive to Walmart. Fisher Price has teamed up with Walmart to bring these nonviolent rescue hero toys to life. For your children, for your collector, for your husband, for your girlfriend, for whoever likes this line. You grew up with Rescue Heroes and they inspired you to join the, the Coast Guard or become a firefighter or a policeman, uh, you know, a forest ranger. That's an awesome thing. That just uh, tells you that Fisher Price should make a live action Rescue Heroes movie. Using the original theme song with like, you know, the, the cool beat like da 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 da, you know how it starts, but with like more upbeat. Include Warren Waters up in the space station, do missions all over the earth, saving everybody, and then of course introduce cool gear. We have the technology, Disney's doing live action uh, card, you know, animated to live action films like Aladdin and Beauty and the Beast. They, too, Fisher-Price, could do a live-action Rescue Heroes movie. Do a movie and then do a TV show, like on Netflix or something. That would be awesome, Fisher-Price. I mean, put, like, uh, I don't know, Will Smith in here. Or uh, the guy that plays the king on, <laughs> in Black Panther. What's his name? I can't think of his name right now. Anybody could be cool, a cool Rocky Canyon. Yeah, I mean, the possibilities are endless. It would be really nice. Uh, even John Cena could be Billy Blazes. Just put a mustache on him. Uh, who would be Wendy Waters? Or Sandy Ocean? The new chick? If you could, you know, mix in the old with the new. Anyway. Live action, Fisher Price. You heard it here first. All right, look, Biddy Blazes in the previous video. Reed Vitals, Forest Fuego, Sky Justice. I couldn't find these. They were not on the palette, so I'm thinking when Walmart sets a new modular after they probably fire like half the company, because I think the new CEO of the company wants to like restructure all the stores, make them leaner, get the profits up, get the payroll way down. And fire all the good people who have been there for years and then just put in a bunch of teenagers who don't know what's going on. Just what happened to me today. I could not get these at the Greenwood store in Corpus Christi. They had no idea what I was talking about. But Caesar over at the Staples store found these, set them out for me, and did a great job. Caesar, you rock. You deserve a raise. Walmart, are you listening? Give Caesar a raise. He's a shift manager. At the Staples store. Caesar. The name of a king. Alright, hold on. I've been to all of your Walmart Super Centers. And I know the good ones and the bad ones. So, anyway. The good thing is. Rescue Heroes are back. This thing transforms. It's going to be 50 bucks on the website. That's a, a later purchase way down the road. But I, I really wanted this guy just as I, I love this hover pack thing. It looks like an avatar type uh, vertical takeoff unit. And it's got that other girl. Well, her name is Sky Justice. But I think 
after the modulars change, we'll be able to get her. All right. They want you to pull this out like this. And then... Pull it out like this. Ta-da! Some of it stayed right here, but... That's not good. All right, we'll put scotch tape on that. Hold on. Screw that up. I mean, a lot of kids aren't going to care. They're going to throw the package away <laughs> right off the bat. Like when I got my first Masters of the Universe back in the 80s, back in Oahu, I remember uh, I, I used to live in an apartment with my dad and... Uh, one morning I got up early and I, I I walked I got I went down we were way up there in the I think the fifteenth floor I don't know way up high I got an elevator nobody nobody sneaked out went downstairs left the lobby went down a whole block and there was a shopping center there on the corner they used to have a cool toy store there I, I forgot the name of the toy store but I walked in there and the, there was a whole aisle of Masters of the Universe I mean I was like what is this this guy looked like Conan the Barbarian because. I used to read my brother's Conan the Barbarian, Savage Sword of Conan uh, books. Savage Sword and Conan. Anyway, He-Man looked just like Conan. And I was very intrigued. I was wondering, what is this artwork? Uh, the Battle Ram was there. I remember the Wind Raider was there. And, of course, He-Man. The original six figures were there. I don't know about this thing. Hold on. Let me cut this out of here. Anyway, I was intrigued. I uh, ran back. I begged my mother to get me uh, a He-Man. And then I begged her to get me a Skeletor so she so you have somebody to fight with. And uh, the rest is history. He-Man stayed seared in my memory. At that, on that day it was a uh, you know it was like i mean they had just put them on the shelf the, the guy still had he-man in the in the in the box he was like taking them out putting them on the pegs i was watching them and i said what is that he said oh it's a new toy line i said well it looks cool who makes that mattel makes it oh i said oh, mattel makes some cool toys See, I used to be a big fan of the Adventure People at the time. Uh, it was a it was a Fisher Price product. They were like um, I don't know GI Joe sized uh, action figures, the little ones. They, they turn up on eBay from time to time for really weird high prices. You'll find them in yard sales, garage sales. Uh, a lot of uh, YouTube videos, guys that go on there and to go to flea markets, you'll see little figures, and, and I recognize them as adventure people. I wish Fisher Price would bring those back, but these rescue heroes have turned into the adventure people for me because they do all the adventure. Now, when you want to take this figure, you got to lift it from here like this. But before you do that, you got to cut this one rubber band that's right there. So, snip that. One snip. Security reason, right? And then lift this up. And he comes out. Yay! Rocky Canyon. All right. And then we got this thing that has the Rescue Hero symbol. I get a feeling you could probably use this uh, for something. Maybe screw it on the wall. They could put, uh, they could hang their backpacks off of it or something. We'll see. Okay. Now, I'm going to have to do this off camera here so I can cut this off. There's a big security tie right here, so I'm just going to snip that. Okay. And then I'm going to snip it right here. Hold on. Are you watching that? Look. Okay. All right. And then there's the 
Well, let's see if I can just snip it. All right, I just used the Crafters of Freedom. Look, the helmet's in there. I think I'll be able to get it out now. Let's see. Maybe. Hold on, a little bit more snipping. Yeah, hold on, hold on. I read the reviews on Walmart.com. They were all, uh, from people who were given these for free. How do you get, how do you score free rescue heroes? Some of those people on the reviews were saying that uh, Mattel sent them, or Fisher Price sent them the, the product for free to review. Look, no more uh, stainless steel rivet to hold it together. I noticed in that Goodwill box, some of the figures were open right here at the, at the, forearm but a little super glue and some clamps would fix that they still have wrist articulation just like the original very nice very nice no ball jointed shoulders the neck turns it can sit look at that got the cool feet that's good to stick them on stuff uh look it's, it's how it goes right on there it would have been cooler if they had put an LED right here and you push a button and it actually lights up. Yay, revolutionary. Let's see. Backpack goes on. Mm. It goes like this, look. It's kind of a fail because, look, the shoulder here, this round thing, should be up on the shoulder itself. But if you push it too far on the hand, it's not going to fit. So twist the wrist, line it up about right there, look. And it's just going to lie on there very, just almost barely on the shoulder. See? They should have put a joint here so you could pull it down straight and it, would, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't affect the, the action. They want you to do this, look. Push the button. See. Hold on. Keep your head on there. All right, like this. See. Rocky Canyon. All right, where's Billy? Uh, come on, Billy. There you go. There's Billy and Rocky. The new rescue heroes. All right, guys and gals, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you hate the video, give it a thumbs up. And let's do that turn thing. You want to see him turn. Look, he's got some, uh, what do you call these? They're not pitons. They're the, that's where you put the rope in there, the mountain climbing. Uh, there's rope here, sculpted it on. Like I said, there's no more uh, metal rivet. I guess they don't need it. Um, yeah, very nice. And the aircraft carrier, I don't know if it's a different carry, and the new cartoon looks bigger. I'm not sure if they got an upgrade. I don't know if they're going to decide to make a giant play set out of that. That would be really awesome if they did. You know, I was going to buy the Mega Constructs Masters of the Universe, and uh, I held off on it because I said, but just something com cool is coming out. And when, when I saw the news online that, I mean, Mattel and Fisher Price were bringing these back, I held off on it. And, and I was going to get one of those Castle Gray Skulls for the Mega Constructs. So I, I just completely avoided the line because, I mean, in Hawaii in the 80s, you pay five bucks for a, a five inch He Man. And in 2019, you're going to pay five bucks for almost a two inch He Man. This is a way better deal. Rescue Heroes. So maybe they'll do some Masters of the Universe Rescue Heroes. Or when they bring back Masters of the Universe, sell them at this price point like this. Anyway, they're very cool to me. I'm pretty sure you like these. 
if you're watching this video, you're a fan. If you're not a fan, you're going to become a fan. Go to Walmart. They should have these out already. And uh, Sermano signing out. Have a good one. Bye-bye. See you on the next video.